I'm Chris with Inspire Us Sun, and I'm out here in the heart of the Idaho wilderness with John, and you're watching Intense Angler's Tip of the Week. Take it away, John. Hey there guys, John here of course, and I'm sure it comes as no surprise that I enjoy spending time in the outdoors. Now that can be fishing as we saw, or hanging out with a good buddy, but one thing I really love is hanging out around a good warm campfire. Something about it just can't be beat, I'm sure you guys can relate to that. One thing that's not quite so enjoyable about that however is the smoke in the face thing. You guys know what I'm talking about right? The smoke just wants to follow you everywhere you go. I'm going to show you a tip today that's hopefully going to at least reduce, if not completely eliminate, that smoke wanting to follow you around the campfire. Now, this is actually kind of a two part tip here. We got to cover the first part to get to the cool part. And that's always the way it works, right? But we'll keep the first part kind of quick. And that is covering kind of how fire works, fire law. And it's really simple. Fire requires three things to burn at its maximum efficiency, giving you the best fire you can have and less smoke. Now, those three things are fuel, oxygen, and heat. And they can be found, obviously, the fuel is our wood, the oxygen, kind of self explanatory, it's all around us, right? And the heat is, uh, you know, the fire itself. It starts with the ignition source and uh, generally grows to you know include the coals and just that heat of the fire all those three things working in combination make the perfect combo for the ultimate fire now one of the things getting on to the main tip here that we usually see and we usually do I know I'm definitely guilty of it I've done it a thousand times is we dig a nice deep fire pit we line it completely with the circle of rocks build our fire right well, the problem with this is that it actually reduces one of the key components to the fire, which is oxygen. The, the oxygen has a much harder time getting down underneath those coals and feeding that fire, feeding that heat, keeping it increasing, sustaining, burning that fuel. And so the pit design that I'm actually going to show you today is going to drastically help increase the oxygen level of the fire. That key component that most of the time is the culprit behind our lack of a good fire and that creates all that smoke that gets on our face. Now we're going to start off with a nice big solid rock and this is a bad boy right here. Okay, As you can see it's got kind of a nice flat face here and it's a much bigger rock than the rest of the ones that we'll be using. Now we're going to want this rock to be uh, nearly vertical. It can be you know, kind of slanted, but pretty much we're going to want this vertical. And we'll explain the reason for that as we go along here. The rest of the ring will pretty much do like we normally would. We're just kind of ring the fire here, right? Put a few rocks around, make our uh, you know, nice little ring. We can use a flat rock if we want to put a nice hot cup of coffee on, keep it warm, you know, whatever we want to do there. So, we've kind of got our whole firing established here. And I'm sure you guys can see one thing's missing right off the bat, right? We've got kind of a gap in the, in the uh, front of the firing. Well, that's actually there for a reason. The same reason that our backstop is here. And that is to create a healthy supply of oxygen for our fire. Like I said, one of the key reasons that we get that smoke and we don't always get that optimal fire that we want. Now, to see this in action, I guess first I'll explain it in principle. The fire is kind of self-explanatory, you guys I'm sure get it. The fire, or the oxygen rather, can come now in near the bottom, just kind of flow in, get under the, get under the fire itself, especially when we have a good bed of coals going, and just really feed that fire with as much oxygen as it needs. And the residual uh, unburnt fuel, which is smoke, is actually going to hit the backstop and go up it. 
And that's one of the things, is that smoke is attracted to objects. And that's why it's attracted to us. Unless it just really likes me or something. I, I don't know, but that's a totally different video. Anyhow, guys. Uh, smoke is obviously heated air. Uh, a little bit of unburnt fuel there. And it is attracted to objects. So it wants to follow them. And heat rises, and so it goes up. And generally, wherever we are, that's where the smoke wants to go. Well, with this system here, we have the oxygen coming in, burning the fuel very efficiently, and what smoke is left is going to be attracted to the backstop, rise up it, and go in one direction, which means it's not going to follow me or you around the fire anymore. It's going to pretty much be contained to one area, which is what we want, right? Giving us a lot less smoke in the eyes there. And, uh, We'll get a quick fire here going just as I kind of wrap this video up. Really simple here. One of the things I love the most uh, for tinder out here is good old fashioned dry pine noodles. They never fell me and uh, they just can't be beat. So we get those pine noodles ignited there. And uh, we'll throw on a little bit of kindling here. Nice dry fine kindling. Toss that on there. And we'll do this just helter skelter because you know what? One thing fire also likes is chaos. Uh, we don't have to build a fancy log cabin. We don't have to build the fancy fire pyramid. We just get that helter skelter thing going on there, which provides a lot of oxygen. It's like the word of the day, right? Oxygen. So as this fire burns, we can progressively put on more and bigger pieces of wood and ultimately have a really nice fire going. And that's pretty much all there is to it and so as we wrap up this video here and my fire continues to grow i want to uh of course thank chris from uh, youtube channel inspire a son for putting together the intro to uh, today's video we were actually fortunate enough to be able to get together on a backpacking uh, kind of outdoor adventure got to film some great videos together had an awesome time out here in the idaho wilderness guys so a huge thanks to Chris, and I highly recommend going and checking out Chris's channel uh, because one, he's a professional videographer, which means he's definitely got to step up on me, so you can expect some much better quality over that way. And Chris also has a unique way of uh, doing videos, uh, looking at things and expressing them, and Chris definitely brings that to the table, and he brings it with an artistic flair that makes it very enjoyable and inspiring to watch so i guess what i'm saying is go check out chris's channel the link's up here um if you're not clicking on it right now i suggest you do but there's also one down at the description area below so after the video you can click on that one but uh anyway guys uh, that's about it um as you can see my back stops working because i'm getting a face full of smoke sitting in the one place that i don't want to sit so uh, I'm going to tend to the old fire here, wrap this video up, and before I go, I of course want to say thanks to you guys for all the support and encouragement that you have always and continue to extend my way. It is vastly appreciated. And until next time guys, you take the best of care, and we'll be seeing you soon.